do. No. I thought Stanton did okay during the weekend and all that. But, I mean, when you're playing Luke Voigt and Shane Robinson in important games, you know, shame on the Yankees for not having the depth. But, again, shame on guys like um, – uh, Jacoby Ellsbury for not getting healthy. Shame on Clint Frazier for not getting yeah, healthy. But Again, you can't make them get healthy, but if those guys are available, it's a completely yeah, but, different but animal. I under, I under Mike, okay? Are you okay? Michael, the Yankees are 30 games up. Don't worry about nothing. K. Is this the same Michael K who said just recently that the Yankees are going to be just fine because they're 30 games over 500 or close and they'll just be fine? So Michael K went on a little rant about Jacoby Ellsbury. Like I said on this channel, Jacoby Ellsbury is not going to be a New York Yankee ever again. They're going to buy him out, okay? But he mentioned Clint Frazier's name. Why? I could understand K throwing out Ellsbury's name out there, okay? He's not a favorite of any Yankees fans. But Clint Frazier, wow, shame on Clint Frazier because he can't control concussions. Shame on Clint Frazier. I mean, in my opinion, the same couldn't be said about Brandon Drury, okay? At least he lied about his concussions. But Clint Frazier obviously wants to help this team. You know, Yankees fans, I don't like Michael K, okay? I grew up listening to him. But Michael K nowadays, I don't care about your political ideology. He has become an SJW. He has become sort of like a, I don't know, another Peter Rosenberg, okay? I don't care if you're liberal, guys, okay? I really don't care. I think politics should be left out of sports, okay? But when you listen to the Michael K show, you know Peter Rosenberg is a liberal, okay? You kind of know Michael K is a liberal. He has recently made it be known his po political ideology. And this is one of the main reasons why Mike Francesa is just killing him yet again in the ratings. Because, like I said, Peter Rosenberg, in my opinion, has influenced Michael K's mind. Maybe it's been like that forever. But you can sense that Peter Rosenberg, he has given Michael K the motivation to, let's say, give a few hints here and there about where he stands politically. And like I said, this is why Mike Francesa is just destroying Michael K at this very moment. Because people don't tune into, let's say, sports radio to hear Michael, the Yankees are 30 games over 500, don't worry, K be an SJW, period. And I don't care if I hurt people's feelings, but that's what Michael K has become. And this is just another perfect example of Michael K running his mouth being frustrated because obviously he's not doing well with his radio show. I, like I said, I like Michael K. When you have Mike Francesa coming out of retirement and he just <laughs> beats you again in the ratings, wow, that says something. That means that you shouldn't have Peter Rosenberg influence your radio show, Michael K. Peter Rosenberg is obviously politically aligned with the left. Like I said, I don't care if you're a liberal. I don't care. Just leave politics out of baseball. Just leave politics out of sports in general. Okay? Nobody wants to hear about politics. People tune into sports to ignore all that. Sports brings everybody together. Conservative, liberal, whatever you are, whatever. It brings people together. So, Red Thunder clapped back at real SJW Michael K. He said at real Michael K. Face -titious, whatever that means, or not. I don't appreciate what you said today. I'm doing everything I can to get healthy so I could play symptom free. So steer clear of publicly calling me out for not when we haven't even had one convo about my concussion this year. Hashtag shame on you, bro. So wow, Red Thunder just devoured Michael Kane. This tweet is going viral as I speak. Like I said, I don't like Michael K, but this tweet and the response it's getting to show the Yankees, to show the Yes Network, to show ESPN, to show Fox Sports, that maybe a lot of people really don't like Michael K. And I'm pretty sure Michael K is a good guy. But he's the voice of the Yankees. He's the voice of really the most historic franchise in sports worldwide. And this sort of behavior has been seen in the past. 
Just like the Diet Coke incident where he dumped a Diet Coke in a trash can to mock Mike Francesa, the man he replaced on the Yes Network. Obviously, Cashman and the Yankees like Frazier. This is why they haven't traded him or have any plans to trade him. He's been untouchable. They could have flipped him for Cole. They could have flipped him for Archer. They could have put him in so many deals. So, obviously, the Yankees like Frazier. And like everybody knows, obviously, you can't control concussions. So, in my opinion, Michael K. needs to apologize to Clint Frazier. Michael K. needs to accept the fact that Clint Frazier ethered him on Twitter. Michael K. needs to take the L. And like I said, in my opinion, Michael K. and his show, they need to change it up a bit. They need to stop being so SJW, okay? Nobody likes that stuff. Just leave politics out of everything. Period. People tune into your show not to hear Peter Rosenberg, which you know is aligned left politically. He makes it be known on his radio show on Hot 97 every single day. So pretty much if you guys are wondering why Michael K doesn't do good in ratings and why Mike Francesca can come out of retirement and still beat Michael K, there's your reason why. People don't like that. Like I said, I don't care what you are. People just don't like Listening to, let's say, sports broadcasters' political ideology. Nobody cares, bro. So, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Should Michael K apologize to Rec Thunder? Did Rec Thunder th just destroy Michael K on Twitter? And where do you predict this going? Are the Yankees going to come out and publicly shame Michael K? Like, let's say that PR statement the Angels released when uh, Rob Manford bashed uh, Mike Trout. I can see the Yankees coming out and putting something out like that for Clint Frazier. Because Clint Frazier can't control concussions, for Christ's sakes. And it was said on the Yes Network, which is the Yankees Network, which they should buy the rights to yet again. And really just own 80% of it. Because once people know that the Yes Network really isn't the Yankees Network and... Disney or whatever owns 80% of it, Fox Sports or whatever. P the people are just turned off by that. The Yankees are a historic franchise. They're worth billions of dollars. Buy the Yes Network back and maybe replace Michael K with somebody else because Michael K is not giving you guys ratings. Like I said, I like Michael K, but he's just over the top sometimes. He's just highly disrespectful. So, Yankees fans, this has been Felix from NYNews.com, back from vacation. I will have plenty of videos for you guys. Like always, share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.